Hello, I'm Andrea Basilio, game designer. I'm working on Valentino Rossi the game at Milestone. Well, we, when we start to uh, thinking about a new MotoGP game, we want to make something completely new this year. So we started thinking how we can improve the game. And uh, we think about uh, that one, only one people in the world can uh, help us to make a better MotoGP game. And this is Valentino Rossi. When we get in touch with Valentino, we discover that he want to make a game uh, from himself. So. Valentino Rossi the game uh, is born basically in this way. Valentino Rossi the game is still a MotoGP game but from the perspective of uh, Valentino Rossi. Valentino Rossi is a complete athlete in the motorsport. He has a great passion for different disciplines of motorsport. So we are recreating all these disciplines in the game. So in the game you will find MotoGP, rally, uh, flat track and uh, drift because he likes a lot of drift and also the R1M races. For the flat track, that is a discipline that Valentino likes a lot. He made actually a proper place near his home for making improvement his skills in flat track. We did a particular physics model completely new for this game. Flat track is a discipline really different from other disciplines. So it's quite similar with uh, um, motocross because the bike are similar, but it's, it's a completely different discipline. So in th for this reason, we create a new uh, physics system. Flat track is really different from motocross. It's similar because they use the same bikes, similar, but uh, it's very different because there aren't any jump. It is all about driving, riding on slippery track and drifting. On the MotoGP part, we, we work on different aspects, especially this year on suspension and on a new tire system. The new tire system is changing a lot the, the physics part of the game especially in uh, changing direction. Uh, it is easier, the feeling of changing direction is more faster. We follow a lot of our uh, fans that ask us uh, to have more reactive bikes in the cornering and also on the changing direction situation. As a MotoGP game, we include the rally section of the game. It's based on the Rally of Monza. Valentino did the, the, this rally every year. This rally is really particular because it's set of iconic Monza track. They did a lot of special stages inside the Monza track. Uh, we start with the physics of Lube, obviously, but we improve also that in the game. So the car is more reactive. Uh, because this rally is really in a close situation with the tiny passages, so we have to have a, bike, a car more uh, um, react. The, the Monza rally is, a, a, is all about fine driving in a really close part of the race and the physics in the game is made for making that possible. So it's all about 360, handbrake uh, and uh, really, really hard maneuver. Valentino Rossi the game have a career mode that is based on the MotoGP season, but is uh, from the point of view of the VR46 Academy. Basically, the player can be a one young rider from the VR46 Academy and uh, live uh, all the experience that the real VR46 Academy riders live in the reality. Well, the, my favorite part of the game this year is the Valentino Rossi story, uh, because there is a lot to tell to the players. Uh, in order to have a great feeling and a great narrative of this part of the game, we have an interview with Valentino, ju made just for the game, in which Valentino explain uh, the moment of his career and then the player can just react that particular moment. Uh, the iconic battle between Max Piaggi and Valentino in Welcome or uh, the overtake of Stoner in Laguna Seca. The, the game is going to be out uh, in June 2016 for PS4, Xbox One and PC Steam. Hello viewers, so that was a brief first look at Valentino Rossi the game, still at a very early stage, almost too early to be shown in some respects, uh, there's still a lot of work to be done, obviously potential there at the moment, but in uh, terms of the uh, flat track racing, the riders are seem to be very stiff and visually it's not necessarily as spectacular as I'd like it to be. In some respects a part of me would still like to see you know, this sort of graphical level or higher frame rates. Um, the MotoGP itself, there is a change to handling, but there is this new sort of squealy tyre effect at the moment, which for me uh, is... Uh, well, let's have a listen to it. So you can see there it's, it's quite uh, 
defined and, and it really the squealing is to give you an idea of when the tires are spinning uh, on every single corner and at the moment I you know that might happen on some corners but you just don't hear it above the noise of the bike so in that sense it doesn't add to the audio in the game at all um, so at the moment we haven't seen the car stuff and how that's going to be I mean obviously I enjoyed playing Sebastian Loeb rally but from I mentioned at the time it didn't have the exterior sort of physics on the car you know and that needs to look right in, in the replays and you know it's getting all the handbrake turns just right you know it's a really tricky course uh, the, the Monza rally so that, that has potential as well but um, that's it from me for now very early first look on this and there'll be some more coverage uh, and reflection on it as we see uh, later code further down the line uh, but um, like and subscribe all the rest of it and uh, there'll be more from me very soon <laughs>